Did you know you can get a high quality code review before you open your pull request or even before you commit your code? Meet CodeRabbit's new CLI, and it does exactly that. CodeRabbit CLI is a tool that lets you run AI-powered code review directly inside of your terminal. It works both on your staged and unstaged changes before you even open a PR. It flags issues, suggests fixes, and works alongside AI coding agents like Claude, Cursor, Gemini, etc. So let's set it up and see it in action. Here is my ghosty terminal and I'm inside of my 8-bit CN project. And I'm just going to type in code rabbit. Now we are being redirected to the authentication page. So we need to log in basically to our GitHub or if you are using any of these. And when I log in, we are going to get this token, which we just need to copy and paste to our terminal right here. So we are now authenticated with the code rabbit CLI. And when this one is passing, now we can see that we are inside. So we see already that I made some changes inside of my ABCN repo. And now everything we need to do is just to hit enter, as we can see it here, to hop into the review. So let's try it out. Now our code is being reviewed. I created some button groups, same like in the new shed CN component. I tried to create the same thing for 8-bit CN. So let's see if that one is good. And one more thing to say, I am here on a free subscription. So you can see it here that I didn't upgrade to pro. So you can do everything for free with limits. Of course, you cannot create 1000 PR reviews, but you can probably create a couple of them. And that is more than enough. Here it is. The review is done and we have one potential issue in the button group slash page. So let's check it out. We just need to hit enter to check out what's happening. And we can see that we have to fix some pattern placeholder mismatch. Let's check it out. I'm hitting enter again. And then here we can see that the pattern don't match in this input right here. So we have some placeholder and then some pattern. I'm not sure what's going on here, but we are going to trust AI. Of course, we are trusting AI always, and we want to fix this automatically. So what we can do is we can here type C to copy prompt to fix with AI. So we can just copy this prompt. If I type in C, you can see here that prompt is inside of my clipboard. So now I could go to cursor right here and I can open here a new chat. And we have here the whole prompt that we need. You cannot see it good. I'll move it a little bit. So in app docs components button group page around line 496, the input, etc, etc. And there is an explanation how to fix this problem exactly. Then second thing that we can do is to apply suggestion automatically. So I can type in A and automatically everything is applied, accepted, and we have it inside of our code. So if we go now to the code, that was the button group page, this one, we can see what was the number 496, I think, 496. We can see here that, whoops, here we can see that he applied really these patterns inside of these inputs and we are good to go. So we can apply everything automatically from our terminal inside of our code. There is also one more cool feature that can come in handy if you're using other AI agents and it is called plain mode. So basically we just type in here code rabbit review and then we give it a param plain and we are going to get the entire review in plain text mode. So we can just easily copy paste it inside of our CLI agent. So now in my next tab, I'm going to open cursor agent, for example. Here we have now our cursor agent. So let's return to the first tab and we can see here that the review is already done and it is plain text. So here we have the file button group page from line 518 to 535 potential issue, the same file right here. And in the end, we have prompt for AI agents. So we can just copy and paste this entire thing now to our CLI here to the cursor agent or to the cloud code or whatever you're using. And now AI is fixing all the things that we need 
right from our review and we didn't even commit the code. We are doing this again, everything before we are putting this code to our Git history. How cool is that? I really like how these guys from CodeRabbit draw this up. So basically we are always starting from some kind of code review before we are staging, committing or putting our code inside of our Git history. And here is one tip for your workflow while you're working with AI and AI agents. You have to try to clone yourself. In this example right here, I created a button group myself and I placed it under review with the code rabbit CLI. And while that one is going on in the background while CLI is checking if everything is good, I'll go to something totally else. I'll create a spinner component or whatever I want to create. Then when this one is done, I'll return back to check if anything needs to be fixed. I'm going to fix it, apply automatically or go inside of my cursor and just put in the prompt, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to do that. And in the same time while that review was being reviewed, I did something else. So it's like I was on two places in the same time. I like this new CLI thingy and I'll try to add it to my workflow to review the code before sending it to my Git history. I'll let you know how it goes. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. If you like this kind of content, you know what to do. Join the mighty horde. Subscribe.